So I bought a new keyboard on Amazon for for twenty five bucks, and and I bought it yesterday. And surely enough, it came in the mail, and here it is. So it looks like a pretty big box. It's actually not that heavy. It's actually quite light. And um, I'm going to unbox it right now. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm going to be using a pen with a rounded tip. Because this usually gets the tape off anyway. Okay, I got the box on. I got the box open, and let's see what's in it. Well, first of all, there's this big old plastic stuff. I'll use you later. <laughs> more of it, and there's more of it. And surely enough, there's the keyboard right there. It's pretty big and pretty clunky, isn't it? And it's pretty, it's, yeah, like I said, it's pretty big. It's a good, decent sized keyboard. And obviously the rest of the box is just non-existent. And um, uh, here we go, I guess. It's an actual decently heavy keyboard. And I'm guessing that there's got to be, it's got to have, it's, it has some weight to it. Okay. Let's see. Let's see the results. Because I heard that this mechanical keyboard actually is decent. We're going to test that out. Now, right here, this is where I run into problems mainly. There's always this little flap right here that I can't get open. And that's it right there. You see? I can't get that open usually. So I always have to use a pen or something to get it open. But surely enough, I managed to get it open, and, ooh. Hooray, I got some stuff from a different com from a different language. Okay, so right now it looks pretty nice. It's a standard rubber cable, but at least it's a motor, it's a motor speed cable. And to my amazement, it's actually a nice looking keyboard. Nice. Not bad at all. <laughs> I mean, you guys can't see it too well if you can at all, but. Here you go. It's, it's a pretty decently heavy keyboard. I think for me. I think the reason why it's not exactly acting too nicely is because it's been out in the cold all day and just doesn't look feel like something that oh and surely enough there's mechan there's some there's there's things right here. I don't know what that's for. Now let's put this in let's put this onto my laptop. Now let's put this onto my laptop. It's a pretty heavy keyboard. It's kind of cold because it was out in the cold all day and it was being shipped from a different place. So I can't imagine that it's actually, I couldn't imagine that it came in hot or warm. Let's plug this thing in. It supposedly works with Windows 10, but I can't guarantee it. Okay, so let's test it. Oh. Actually, I need a USB hub. Thankfully, I have one right here. It's a nice little USB hub and it should work. It should work and to my hope it should. And let's get another let's get this mouse in. Let's test it. And installing device, and it shouldn't take too long to install the vi the device. Installing Razer Mamba Tournament Edition, and um, uh, let's test it. I think I can move the key the computer up. I think I can move the keyboard the 
laptop up. All right, let's see. Surprisingly enough, it works pretty nice. And um, uh, it's actually a really nice feeling keyboard. Now, let's do one more thing. This is dangerous because using, because if you use the wrong thing, you can actually damage the keyboard. But in my case, I think I can just pry this, this thing up. Oh, yep, I can. Where did that go? Okay. So I took off one of the keys, one of the caps, and it turns out these are actually mechanical. And it's actually a really darn nice looking keyboard. This is a mechanical keyboard. It does have those classic mechanical switches and even though it doesn't look like an actual mechanical keyboard, it actually is. If you look in there close enough, you should see it is an actual working mechanical keyboard. And it feels pretty nice to the touch. Now, let's bring down the adjustable feet. Now, the adjustable feet, to me, aren't very important, but to other people, that would be something that they really want in their computers. But for me, not really. Now let's try this out with some games. Hmm? Let's try this out. <clears throat> let's try this out with a cup with, with a game or two. Hmm? This it is kind of a it is cold, so I can't be. I have to be kind of wary about that. Let's try Terraria. Let's see if that works. Well, hold on, and let's see if Sticky Keys is functioning with it. Yep. Sticky Keys works. All of that works. Unlocks on, caps lock, nice. Scroll lock, we really don't need scroll lock. I mean, there's no need for it. And the keys look pretty nice. They feel pretty good. And let's see if the refresh key works. And surely enough, it works pretty nice. The keyboard actually works pretty good. I think that this is a pretty good buy. Um, for 25 bucks, this is pretty much an all right keyboard. Okay, let's see if the number pad works for a minute. Oh, okay. It's a pretty quiet keyboard. It's nice though. It's not a razor. It's not a razor um, uh, black widow or anything, but it's definitely got a nice feel to it. It's it's a nice keyboard. I can't complain. Now I did hear that there was another mechanical keyboard somewhere around here, but and I'm gonna go check that, and I'm gonna test it compared to this one. I have a feeling it's somewhere behind here. But I was never able to find that other mechanical keyboard, at least not for now. So after about about 10 minutes of looking, I found no success in finding anything worthwhile. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing video. If you want, I will leave a link in the description to, to where you can find this bad boy. And if you want to buy it, it We'll set you back about 10 bucks without the real speed, without the one day shipping like I did. I found out that this is actually a pretty nice mechanical keyboard, and if I do find that other mechanical keyboard, I will definitely verse it against this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.